Hi honeys, this is Alicia Honey. In this episode, I'll be exposed on my cousin's trips to Georgia. To start us off, let's talk about these nails. I actually thought I did the application really well, but it's hard to tell when it's clear acrylic. I'll be investing in some more colored acrylic, but right now I just need to practice on my filing technique. The application was really good this time, but the finished product was a little bit, a little bit rough around the edges because I didn't file properly. I was going for a simple nail design this time, just to give myself a break from all the challenge nail arts that I've been doing recently. My last challenge was the wild thornberry nails, which kicked my butt, let me tell you. I have videos on my Instagram if you want to follow me on Instagram and see how bad it really was. This time I didn't use the pop-off method, I just glued down the acrylic right down to my natural nail beds of course um with the full body nails because my tips only are still curved i haven't gotten the flat bed one yet and i will i'll restock on everything i just want to practice with what i have right now the products that i used in this video will be listed down with amazon links down in the description the reason we wanted to travel to georgia this particular year is because it was uni's birthday on cinco de mayo at this point in time, I think I was taking a break from college, so I was staying in Ohio. Of course, I went down there with the OG crew. It was me and Nani, and then I took Uni's little sister. We're going to call her Lynn. Uni at this time had been dating Dean for about a year. They have moved in together. She moved from Ohio to Georgia to live with him. They live in a really cute two-bedroom apartment in the north side of Georgia. So, because she wanted her cousins to come down there and celebrate her birthday with her for the weekend. Yuni's little sister, Lan, and I have very, very similar personalities. She's social, she's straightforward, she's funny. She's a lot more outspoken than I am, but we get along super easy. I talked about Nani before. Nani is more like the chill type. She's not really that outgoing, but she is sociable. She's funny. She's just more like, I want to be here because I got FOMO, not because I want to be dancing on tables, but Nani is a really, really good time. And of course, you honeys know that uni was like a twin to me. I have a whole video about Uni and Nana. It's a nine hour drive from Ohio to Georgia. So when we finally did get to Georgia, it was later at night. The next day we started our day off with some moonshine and then we go to the Jazz Festival. The Jazz Festival was so nice. I need to see if they have it this summer because it was so fun. When we got back to the house, we decided to drink some more. We were drinking vodka and moonshine and playing drinking games. At this point, we had been drinking all day, morning, night, moonshine, vodka. We had drinks at the jazz festival. We were just tore up from the floor. Uni started to talk because she is tore up. Dean was on the sofa at that time and she was like trying to basically eat Dean while he was at the sofa. I was trying to get Uni off of Dean and Nana decides this is the perfect time to text her ex-boyfriend. I'm like, okay, you know, like we're all tore up. I don't think this is the best time to ask for advice on an ex-boyfriend. So of course I told her to do it. Like we're on demon time, do it. So she texts her ex-boyfriend while I'm taking care of Uni. Uni decides she needs to pull out what came in. So I'm in the bathroom holding Uni's hair, making sure she's okay. Dean decides to go to the back room. Uni is screaming for Dean. Nana is texting ex-boyfriend. Lynn gets off the dining room table and she's on the floor talking to nana about how much she loves everybody in the room and she's pouring her hair out and nana is basically like baby we're the only ones in the room it's just me and you and lena's like yeah i love everyone in the room and so it was just chaos each room had its own showdowns going on eventually uni decides she wants to go to bed she wants to go to bed with dean wants to cuddle i'm like okay go cuddle with your man i go and i chill on the sofa with nana lynn goes to the bathroom because she has to use the restroom and nana was still testing her ex-boyfriend once lynn goes to the restroom me and nana on the sofa talking for a few minutes lynn had been in there for like a good 20 minutes i want to say before i had to use the restroom and notice like oh my goodness lynn has been in there for a grip what is she doing the door was kind of cracked open so before walking in i just peeped through just to see what was going on you know maybe a nosy i see lynn bawling her eyes out just 
bawling her eyes out and she's talking in the mirror and she's like just pouring her heart out to herself in the mirror i'm not here to judge but the first thing that comes to my mind is like do i really want to interrupt this I, I told nana i was like nana she is in there talking to herself and i gotta use the restroom like what am i supposed to do so and nana i was like just go in there pee real quick and come out after about five minutes of contemplating do i really need to use the restroom that bad i then was like lynn what's everything good are you okay while i'm talking to her i'm using the restroom and she's just wearing her high eyes she's like I just love everyone so much. I don't really remember what she was saying because it was just rambling. And then her boyfriend, Nico, called. Me and Nana was like, do not answer your phone. Lynn, like, okay, I'm not gonna answer my phone. And she answered the phone. And she starts pouring her heart out to Nico. And then Nico was like, oh, okay, she's drunk. And he's just listening to her. And I'm like, ah, thank you. So I'm in the restroom just basically listening to Lynn and Nico talk and her saying how much she loves everyone and just pouring her heart out. And then about an hour went by. I'm like, okay, baby, we've been in here for like an hour. It's like 2 a.m. Let's find something else to do. We then go on the sofa with Nana, chill with Nana on the sofa, watch TV for a little bit. Lynn is all over the floor and she's just expressing how much she loves the floor. Her and Nico love the floor. They never want to get off the floor. It's just her and Nico in the floor forever. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Eventually, we all pass out. And you think we will learn our lesson from the first night of us fully being there, but we decided to repeat the process. We went to the arcade. We're doing laser tag, playing arcade games, just having fun. We did start drinking around afternoons during the daytime. And then that night, instead of going to a jazz fest or doing games, we went to a bar that had karaoke. Did the, I think I did invite my friend Levi. And he came through to celebrate Uni's birthday as well at this bar. And they had karaoke. So of course, me and Lynn were like, we're going to do karaoke. Nana's not really the type to like go on stage and stuff. We decide, so Uni did karaoke and I think she did either Eminem or Bruno Mars. I think it was Eminem. We decide to do 21 Savage. In front of us is a bridal party and it's like four full family dining size tables of just white women looking at us like what song is this and what are they doing and we performed our butts off there was one other black guy that was there and he did rock and roll and of course he was supporting us even though i don't think he knew the song that we were rapping but he was supporting us and so when he got up there we were all up in arms for him doing the rock and roll i can't remember exactly what song he picked but i know we were pretending like we knew exactly what he was saying fun fact about uni uni can not drive she cannot drive we do not allow her to drive anybody else can drive but uni we were in dean's car at the time we did not know until we got to the highway and dean went from the ramp to the fast lane before he even got on the highway that dean could not drive so we decided to make a group chat and that is how our group chat was created it was called uni and dean cannot drive it is five years strong i can't even put in a 12 book series all the stuff that goes on in this group chat and the night ended pretty much the same way that it ended the night before we were tipsy and by having that near-death experience it had sobered us up enough that we were just watching tv talking shit shooting craps doing all that stuff until about two or three in the morning like we usually do and then we went to sleep the next day we hung out said our goodbyes got our stuff packed and head out for a trip our nine hour trip back to ohio that was our first like very casual nothing too obscene happen yeah it's just good times good vibes all around to this day i got this nail design actually from tiktok if you would like to follow my tiktok it will be in the description down below uv ray light didn't dry the nails completely so i did mess up the gel polish all right super cute i do want to do this again when i become more confident in my work and more of a perfect my natural nails are still 
very damaged from me filing them off incorrectly. I did my research and I am learning to hold my drill better and I don't want to be scared to use my drill so that's why in this video I did go back to drilling my natural nail. I want to see how long I can keep these nails on so I'm not going to take these nails off. I'm going to repolish over them in our next video. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up for our next story time. Please comment down below so I can know if you have any, any, any tips about acrylic application nail art. Please comment down below. All constructive criticism is welcome. Thank you so much, honey, for watching. Until next time.